Chef short movie review. George Newman keeps getting fired because of his overactive imagination, and when as he is out looking for a job, he his uncle wins the deed to a small UHF station, and George is offered to offered the managerial position, and he now has to try to compete with the network station run by the mustache twirling evil villain R.J. Fletcher played by Kevin McCarthy and that's more or less it. This sticks really closely to the formula for the light 80's comedy but it actually is a good entry into that subgenre and Basically, everyone watching this is there for the Weird Al, and it is really, really good. There's, you know, all of the types of jokes that you would expect from Weird Al, and this is very much his movie. This is the Weird Al movie, basically. And, yeah, in place of parodies of music, we have parodies of, you know, big, famous films. So, you know, it opens with an indie parody, you know, Indiana Jones, and, yeah, in general, just his overactive imagination and the fact that he, you know, starts running this TV station and that runs ads becomes, you know, yeah, that, that allows them to do these fantasy sequences, basically, or, yeah, where, yeah, they, they do parodies of big, you know, and it actually, yeah, they're a lot of fun. About a sixth of the material, yes, I sat down and calculated, does kind of fall flat on its face. But, again, that does leave the vast majority of stuff to be really, really funny. And it is a hilarious film. If you're at all into Weird Al, you know. If, and if you don't know who that is, basically, you know, very goofy, somewhat clever, Sometimes clever, anyway. Sometimes really disgusting. There's, you know, bitter, you know, bad breakup kind of jokes and, yeah, various stuff. Yeah. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.